So as of this morning, the fire remains at uh, 1,492 acres, so no change in acreage overnight. It was very quiet overnight on the fire, so that's definitely some good news. Um, again, we don't want to get you know our hopes up. We don't want to get ahead of ourselves because we are having um, a wind event coming in this afternoon with gusts up to 25 miles per hour. So we need to be prepared for that as well. Um, but as of right now, there's no change in acreage and containment is at 50%. I'm sorry, I didn't hear the first word. Sorry. <laughs> I was in the truck. What will the firefighters today as they get back into the So they're going to continue with their structure protection duties, and that's just working in, the, in this vicinity, the areas behind me, the areas that were evacuated. So they're just providing structure protection to the homes um, in case that wind does shift and start to come down into the area. Um, and then they'll just continue to secure the containment lines and make sure the fire doesn't jump any of those lines as well. Correct. So even with that run the fire made on Sunday night, we were fortunate we didn't lose any structures. Um, so, you know, that is good news and we're working our hardest to get people back into their homes. Um, evacuations do remain in place just due to the safety of the public and the firefighters. With that wind event that's coming, we want to make sure that fire doesn't shift and we have to reevacuate again. Uh, we have equi equipment coming in and out of the area as well. And then we'll be using uh, aircraft again today. So it's just for the safety of everybody that we're just going to keep the residents out of the area for right now. We're hoping by the end of day today, but again, that's should nothing happen and should we continue on this path of, you know, slow fire activity and slow fire movement. Anything else that you want to let us know about tonight? I don't think so. So they worked on containment lines yesterday again, so that's where we got the 50% containment and they'll continuously be working on that. Um, and then again with the structure protection. So they've been going in and out of the communities, just hosing down the vegetation, cutting line around properties, whatever needs to be done, mowing the area just to make sure if the fire were to come into those neighborhoods, that there is that buffer between the fire and those homes. So that's the objectives again for today with the overall objective again, protecting the safety of the firefighters, the public and the community of Cave Creek. It's still moving east northeast towards the Tano, but we are seeing that it's it is slowing down. It has slowed down a lot the movement of the fire. So again, you know, um, if we can keep on this path, we're going to be good to go. But with those winds coming up today, we're not going to get ahead of ourselves. And you know, so right now when we look out there, we don't see any like is there is there actual fire burning like flames or is it just the ground hot or what's 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 it like out there? So there's not a lot of like fire activity, meaning flames. You're not going to see those big flame lengths that we saw Sunday night, Monday. There's not a lot of smoke either, so that's definitely good news. So when we say 50% containment, it might not be, you might not still be seeing flames, but there is some smoldering within the perimeter. There are still some hot spots. So crews are also working on those, monitoring those hot spots, and making sure everything within the perimeter is completely out.